Hey guys, it's Dev and today is Technique Tuesday and before we roll the intro, let me just quickly apologize. This video might be a little bit late. Today was a to day. I wrote two tests today. Couldn't film yesterday because I was studying and doing one of my tasks. So yeah, after this video, I'm probably going to upload it and start doing that task again. I'm going to have to try and do everything tomorrow. We'll see how that goes, but yeah. So if the lighting in this video is not the best, might be better because I still have daylight. Usually I have to film these at night, but now I still have some daylight left. Anyway, let's get into the video. Let's roll the intro and I'll tell you what it's about. She got two little horns and they give me a little... Okay, so you clicked on this video because you want to know how to edit black and white photos. Now, first things first, let's get a few things out of the way. What a black and white photo entails. Now, black and white photos are mostly for detail. If you look at any professional photographers, black and white photos, you can see a lot of detail in the skin. You can see the scars, the pores, and everything. So black and white really brings out the detail in textures. Now, if that's the look you're going for, or if all the colors in your photo are not working together, then black and white's your safest bet. So let's take this photo that I did of a recent shoot. Um, it looks pretty with color. I already edited it with color. But let's edit it black and white so I can show you guys the difference. I'll keep it up on screen just to show you guys what I mean. So, okay, so first things first, you want to go to the color tab and in the top left corner, you will see there's a button called B and W. If you click on that button, it will turn the photo automatically into black and white. It will color grade it a little bit, but not all the way. You can change it however you want. But now if you go into the mix tab where we found the colors, then you will see there's only one slider now. Like, what happened to my other sliders? Well, because you're using black and white, you can't really change the saturation of colors because it's all been desaturated. You also can't change the U because it's, there is no U, it's desaturated. Now, with the luminance, it's essentially the brightness of specific colors. Now, let's quickly put up the before. Um, I'm just going to put up the before photo of black and white if you just click the black and white button and then how I edited it with the luminance down here. Now, as you guys can see, there's a little bit of difference in the shadows, the face and stuff like that, the background and the shirt, but that's because I changed the luminance. You can do this with any photo. If you just play around with these sliders, that's what I'd recommend you do. Play around, see what you can do and see how it works out. And yeah, you could end up with an amazing photo. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please hit that like button. Comment down below if I missed something on the black and white. Like I said, I don't do it a lot, so I might be missing a lot of stuff. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this has been Dev, and I'm out. But you hear how fucking groovy this beat is. I just had to let it rock for the whole rest of the time that you're listening to this show.